Hi everyone, welcome back to Shake Hand with Life. I am Narinder Sharma, and in today's video, we will be discussing the significant difference between five sigma and six sigma accuracy rates, and the associated costs of errors. Most people accept a 99.9% .9 accuracy rate, but the gap between five sigma and six sigma is quite substantial. It is not just about the error rate, it is also about the costs associated with each error. So let's dive right into understand this significant difference. Let's take an example of Amazon shipments. On Cyber Monday in 2013, Amazon processed a whopping 36.8 million orders. Amazon had errors while processing these orders. Let's assume that each order error costs the company an average of $35. This is a conservative number, considering that costs might include return shipping, labor to answer customer phone calls or emails, and labor and shipping to correct a wrong order. Now, let's look at the errors per million opportunities at sigma levels 1 to 6. At one sigma level, the error rate is 690,000 per million opportunities. At sigma level 2, the error rate is 308,000. At sigma level 3, the error rate is 66,800. At sigma level 4, the error rate is 6,200. At 5 sigma, the error rate is 233. And at 6 sigma, the error rate is 3.4 per million opportunities. First, let's calculate the cost of errors at 5 sigma. At 5 sigma, number of errors per million orders is 233. Hence, the total number of errors out of 36.8 million orders can be calculated as 36.8 multiplied by 233, which equals 8574.4 errors. Therefore, the total cost of errors at 5 sigma with an average cost of $35 per error is 35 multiplied by 8574.4 which equals $300,104. Now at 6 sigma, the number of errors per million orders is 3.4 only. Hence, the total number of errors out of 36.8 million orders can be calculated as 36.8 multiplied by 3.4 which equals 125.12 errors. Therefore, the total cost of errors at a rate of $35 per error is 125.12 multiplied by 35 which equals $4,379. So, we can clearly see the significant cost difference of $295,725 between 5 sigma and 6 sigma. This implies that when an organization moves from 5 sigma to 6 sigma, it is improving 70 times from its current situation. That's it for this video. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like and share it with your colleagues. Don't forget to subscribe to Shake Hand with Life and press the bell icon to get notifications of our latest video uploads. By a super thanks to support me financially so that I could continue creating these types of video lectures for you. Thank you for watching and see you in the next video.